Okay, so in our previous video, we learned what is Avogadro's number and what is the mole. If you are unfamiliar with these concepts, then you should review that first video before looking at this one. Um, here we will review Avogadro's number and the mole in a more abstract setting because you can have a mole of anything. Now we're going to talk about raindrops in the Pacific Ocean where the concept is still the same, but it might just look a little weird because you're not looking at um, chemicals and compounds. But you'll see that uh, the concepts are still the same. So let's look at this problem. A raindrop weighs 50.0 milligrams and the Pacific Ocean weighs 7.08 times 10 to the 20 kilograms. And we need to find the mass of one mole of raindrops. And then we need to write the answer in scientific notation and round the mantissa to one decimal place. If you are unfamiliar with scientific notation and what is a mantissa, then you should look at some of our video tutorials that covers this topic before proceeding further with this one. Okay, but let's move forward. So we need to find what is the mass of one mole. This is basically asking us what is the molecular weight of raindrops because molecular weight is determined the units of that is grams per mole. And remember that Avogadro's number is 6.022 times 10 to the 23. In this case, we'll say drops in a mole. And so let's get started. We are given that one raindrop weighs 50.0 milligrams. So we need to go from milligrams and drops to grams per mole. So let's start by converting milligrams to grams because that's easy. So in one, one milligram corresponds to 10 to the minus 3 grams. Milligrams cancel. Now we have grams on top. That's good. That's what we want. Now how about drops and mole? Well this is where Avogadro's number comes in because we can Put that on top, that's our number of drops in one mole, drops cancel, and so now we have grams over moles. This is molecular weight, and so you can multiply that out, because that's all that there's left to do, and when you do, you find that there are 3.011 times 10 to the 22 grams in a mole. Uh, but we needed to write our answer in scientific notation, which this is, and round to the first decimal place, which is this one. So when you do that, your answer becomes 3.0 times 10 to the 22 grams per mole. And that's our molecular weight for raindrops, RD. Wasn't too bad. How about the next one? How many moles of raindrops equals the mass of the Pacific Ocean? Well, the Pacific Ocean was 7.08 times 10 to the 20 kilograms. And we need to go from kilograms to moles. That's what we're being asked. So let's start writing this to work through our conversions. Kilograms. Convert kilograms to grams. One kilogram is a thousand grams. Kilograms cancel. And so now we need to go from grams to mole. This is where we use our molecular weight that we previously found. And one mole has 3.0 times 10 to the 22 grams. Grams cancel. So now we're in moles, which is what we want. And you find that we have 23.6 moles of raindrops is equal to the Pacific Ocean. So the concepts are still the same. You can use Avogadro's number to relate units of mass and moles and individual atoms, whether or not you have chemicals and atoms or things like raindrops in the Pacific Ocean. It works the same.